Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Paul Wooten here. Got another Matchbox 5 pack unboxing for you. This is the number 3 Matchbox Construction 5 pack. And like I always do, I usually preview one casting. And a while back I did a um, unboxing of another 5 pack and we uh, previewed the 66 Dodge pickup. This time we're going to pick another one. So let's... uh go to the zoom in so we can look at this little guy so this time it's purple with an orange boom if you ever driven one of these things it's fun to do wheelies like that but they frown upon it whenever you do it on a construction site very nice little model there that one's been released multiple times this is probably the fan favorite of the whole five pack of course is the 66 dodge a100 pickup in the golf livery that's one word i never thought i'd ever say is livery but i guess that's the terminology nowadays so this pick get, pickup is one of my favorites i love the ford the dodge and of course the chevy um, versions of this um so check that dude out we'll park him over there the next one is the water hauler. Nothing real fancy here. Another one of those uh, ongoing brands that Matchbox carries on. There's a very cool tanker. A lot of plastic on that guy, though. Park him over there. The next one is the Man TGS 18 440, which is a. Little, uh, has a little dump bed on it. Nice to see that Matchbox chose to continue at least that working feature. Got some nice details on the front. Some nice details on the side. I think I have every release of this, but I chose not to to uh, preview this model. I know these uh, five packs have been unboxed by many other YouTubers, and I um, like the way their presentation is, and I like to do my own, even though many people have seen them. But I like to uh, kind of follow the footsteps of uh, Race Grooves. He likes to do these, and he'll feature a certain vehicle in the five-pack. So I've kind of done that over the last few times, and it's kind of interested uh, more folks. So let's just see what happens. So the very last one is the 2014 Chevy Silverado. This one here says Native Landscape Planning and Design. Um, it has the non-chrome bumpers, so the base is non-chrome. It's another cost cutting effect of these vehicles. I get it. So let's feature this vehicle. I am missing one. I didn't realize I was missing it until I was going through uh, the wiki and uh it's i got the one i thought i was already had as a variation so the very first one that was released of these was this blue uh, metallic uh four-door moon roof all the good stuff it came out i can't remember exactly what year it was i should have told you guys that but it's got the chevrolet emblem on the front and a license plate nice clean um basic model would have been cool to have a tow hitch on something like this but we've got the blue one and then shortly after that this little brother the red one came out and it's basically the same features got the bow tie and the plate nice red with the rear uh, bow tie and the tail lights very cool model then there was a gray one with the chrome bumpers and what have you that came out. And I thought this was the release, but this came from the 100 years of Chevrolet. It's got the uh, non-chrome grill bumper, but it does have detailed um, lights. Um, so we can go 100th. See that? I should have did that with the other ones. I'm sorry I didn't go close enough i just didn't want my fingers to be in the way but uh 
pretty cool there. Then it came out in the main lines as this waltz up or wise up. That's what it says. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to read through the phone sometimes. Kind of a little bit blurry. Um, so it's wise up elevator services. That's some cool tread plate designs on the side. Nothing on the grill or the rear end. And then last but not least, prior to the green one that came out, was the Laffy Taffy. This uh, pink one that's pretty cool. So, Silverado. Picked up quite a few of these. It's pretty cool. Um, I should have grabbed it, but a little acetone and all that uh, design comes off on there. And you could come up with maybe a Barbie logo. You could put a Barbie logo on it. That would be cool. Even though it's a matchbox, I get it. But it's all Mattel. So uh, something for the customizing for the girls later on down the road. So I grabbed a few when I could find them. But uh, there you go. We've got um, quite a few of these Silverados. Park them around here. Give you guys a little view of those. Get the little kind of pretty cool. Glad you guys enjoyed this uh, unboxing and a little extra feature of that 2014 Chevy Silverado. I'll be on the look for the one of these that has the chrome grill. I didn't realize I was missing it till I went to ready to get, do this video. But uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.